Hello, and well, I'm Mike Taylor from a podcast to the curious, and this is, of course, Will Ross. And we're here today to bring you an unboxing of a very special game. We've just received through the post this, you probably can't see that because it's clearly out of focus, of um, a game designed by one James Druitt with artwork by Richard Svensson. And it is right up our alley because it is an MR James based game. It is an MR James game based on a, and we're struggling to say this in a way that won't anger our lawyers, based on the popular format uh, favoured by school children uh, that enables you to compare the statistics of different. Oh, this is uh, well. It's a card based <laughs> statistical comparison game. <laughs> yes. And that rhymes with a popular presidential um, hopeful. Hopeful. Yes. It's like top. Can we say that? Oh, Mike! I don't worry, I can bleep that. <laughs> anyway, we're here to unbox it and show you what it what is on offer. So let's get on and do just that very thing. So here is what arrived in the mail the other day. It is a small jiffy bag with a tiny logo for Pleasing Terror Games on the back. I'm just going to rip this open and we'll see what's inside. Here we have the box for Monsters and Miscreants. And it says at the bottom, from the world of M.R. James. And we have a nice illustration of M.R. James himself by Richard Svensson. Uh, I should say on the back, there is the a little blurb there, just saying this is a Trump style game. Uh, that's James fully in compliance with the lawyers there. Right, I'm just gonna go ahead and open this. Now on the, I've got here some further rules for the game there just set those aside and a a sheet just giving you a bit of context from mr james's stories as to where each of the monsters and miscreants in this card game have come from i'm going to move these aside and here is the main event the cards themselves you can see at the top of the deck we've got mr carswell from casting the runes and underneath this rather Good bit of artwork there uh, by Richard. You can see the uh, the stats that are associated with his character. So um, running down, they start with fright factor and physicality, and then wall of weird, the slayer score, the character's dark arts, and then finally where they are in the MR James Hall of Fame. And you can see if I just sort of fan these, we'll just put a selection of these out for you to see. What I really like about these uh, these cards and the artwork is that you know we we get a lot of M R James artwork sent to us and it's all really good and it's all very very much um, you know it's all bears the stamp of its of its creator um, and each artist has their own take and what I really like about Richard Svensson is he's done these kind of cartoony uh, comic book style pictures and these I just think they're absolutely brilliant for this uh, for this game. They all look really amazing, Mike. I mean, the production quality is really nice. They're nice, solid cards. I can see, you know, there's many years of happy gaming in these cards. Um, and, yeah, like you said, love the artwork. It's just great. Um, we won't show you all the cards because we don't want to spoil the fun of you opening your own pack and um, revealing them to yourselves. Oh, that is cool, though. That is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but I don't think there's anything else for us to do and have a quick game, Mike. Absolutely. Sure, sure. Shuffle up and deal. So, top cards. I've got the uh, I've got the Fen Stanton witch. Right. Okay. Specifically, the Bat Demon Verol. Blimey. Well, I've got the Withered Spirit from um, from Residence at Whitminster. So a crazy Daddy Longlegs creature in a cupboard, basically. <laughs> um, so based on what I know of those two characters, I'm going to challenge you on um, Wall of Weird. Bring it on. What have you got? Thirty. Thirty-three. Oh, come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ash tree spiders. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a kitten. What is kitten like? Oh, I've got the grasping hand. <laughs> you have. I, I wasn't thought that was on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Will, I'm just bringing out all the greats here. Fear my lost hearted children. Ah, uh, interestingly, <laughs> I've got another child based terror here. I've got the white haired frog beast from uh, the doll's okay. house. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to go Fright Factor 75. Fright Factor is out of 100. Fright Factor 85? No! Yes, frog head, oh, frog, head frog beast, Trump's child. Oh, my Lord. I've got the monster of the runes. Oh, this is, this is a big face-off. This is a, this is a yeah. big canonical face-off because I have the linen face terror from Oh, Whistle I'll Come To You, My Lad. Oh, wow. This requires some thought. I'm going to go physicality. 91. Oh, 42. It's in the trees. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh wow, I've got a bit of a vignette here. A ghost with the malevolent face oh. looking through the, the hole. In the, I'm going to hold this up to the camera, but not to Mike, so you can't see. So wall of weird. Uh, sorry, what was that? I've got 19. Do you want to say that again? 19. <laughs> 28. <laughs> oh, you oh, thought that in was In your uh, face, in your peeping whole face. <laughs> <laughs> For the championship, I've got the familiar of Count Magnus. Oh, and I've got the ghost of old Mother Wilkins. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> right. Wall of Weird, 15. Wall of Weird, 25. Yeah, I was never going to win that. Well, what a game. That's great. And we saw some of the, we saw some of the greats from the MR James stories there. Yeah, yeah. That is, that is smashing. So you can kind of test your MR James knowledge using these very... Um, yeah, great cards. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks very much for joining us for this unboxing video. If you want to learn more about this game, uh, we will put up some links on our website uh, to, the, uh, to the Monsters and Miscreants Facebook page. And also we hope to be bringing you an interview with James and with Richard very soon. And how much this amazing game cost, you may be asking? Well, it's probably less than you think, because according to their Facebook page, it's only 9 99 including post and packaging. Including post and packaging. Bargaination or what, eh? Yeah, absolutely. So buy one, buy one for every room in your house, buy two for the toilet, and then <laughs> one for every room in all of your friends' houses. Uh, you might as well. I think you might be might well be tempted to get two, one to play with, and one to start to frame them, and uh, I'd say, you know, they are beautiful. They're I'd say get three fantastic. so you've got one to lend to your friend who probably won't return it because, yeah. you know, they're so cool. Yeah. All right, well, thanks very much, and we'll see you soon.